Good afternoon, Musketeers. It's October 18th, 2019. I'm Nick Walker. And I'm Bella Mastriani. This is Xavier News. It's that time of year again. Football season is itching closer to the playoffs as teams are fighting for their spots. The Cincinnati Bengals will be home versus the Jacksonville Jaguars this Sunday at 1 o'clock. Grab a group of your friends and head out to the game an hour early to watch the best players warm up on the field. The Bengals are not off to the best start this season, but filling the crowd up with the people will certainly help all the players. It's going to be a tough battle as both teams are searching for more wins. If you use your Xavier email, you can get tickets for only 20 bucks. Make sure to take advantage of this great offer. The average ticket for a lot of these games are around 50 to 60 bucks, depending on where you sit. Just more great options that SAC has to offer. With winter approaching, residents are concerned about just how cold it will get this year. Actually, warmer than average temperatures are forecast for most of the country this winter, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Climate Prediction Center. While it will be warmer, it will also be wetter than average from December through February. The biggest factor in the cold this year comes from the Arctic Oscillation, or the number of Arctic air masses that intrude the U.S. Its predictability is limited, but no part of the U.S. is favored to have below average temperatures this winter. Are your parents in town this weekend? This Saturday, the Xavier Singles will be performing for families, Xavier students, and the public. They'll be singing songs from a variety of artists, and all you got to do is sit back and relax. This event will be taking place at... 1230 on the bottom floor of the Gallagher Student Center. So wake up, grab a quick lunch, and go out and see the Xavier Singers. They have been working hard all semester and need the support from the Cincinnati community. Xavier Music is up and coming, and anyone is welcome to join a singing group, a choir, if you would like to. The Cincinnati Zoo has a new member in its family, a one-month-old bear cat. This new baby bear cat has not yet been named, but it will grow up to be the future mascot of the University of Cincinnati. The little bear cat currently lives in quarantine while she gets accustomed to her surroundings, but zoo officials assure that she is very healthy. The bear cat currently only weighs 2.2 pounds, but is expected to grow to around 20. The zoo is looking for name recommendations and will unveil the baby bear cat's name in early November. Next Friday, October 25th, Thumb McCall will be hosting a fall festival for all Xavier students. By swiping in, you'll get to carve pumpkins and eat caramel apples, two classic fall activities. Other food options include free cotton candy and popcorn. If you're looking for a bit of a friendly competition, people will be play, playing yard games like cornhole, spike ball, and even twister. The fall festival is the right place to be, whether you want to get a little creative or just chill back and eat as much food as possible. It's from 5 to 7, so before you go out and do anything, make sure to swing by the Fenwick Yard. Even if you can only stop for a few minutes, it's still a great opportunity to go out with your friends and get to know the great people we have here in the Xavier community. It's completely free, so all you gotta do is bring your alt card. Xavier's 24th annual Emerging Leaders Retreat is coming up. This two-day event takes place from November 15th through the 17th. The retreat is designed for students to recognize, develop, and strengthen their leadership skills regardless of their involvement status. It will focus on self-awareness, awareness of others, leveraging strengths, and reflecting on the role of the student leader. Apply online or contact Deb Aoad at xuleadership at xavier.com. All right, that's it the news desk, people. We'll be right back with Lucas Robbins and the Xavier Sports Report.
Hello Musketeer fans and welcome back to the Xavier Sports Report. I'm Lucas Robbins and let's begin with the Xavier volleyball team. Tonight they will face off against the Providence Friars in a, bat in a Big East battle in Providence. The Friars will head to into the game sporting an 0-6 record in the Big East play, while the Musketeers will have a 3-3 conference record. Historically speaking, this has been a very one-sided rivalry, as Xavier has a 10-1 all-time record against the Friars. The Musketeers will continue their road trip versus the Creighton Jays on Sunday, and the Creighton Jays have a little bit of a better conference record at 6-0. Best of luck to the volleyball team on their travels this weekend. Tonight, the big event of the preseason is here for Xavier basketball, Musketeer Madness. This free event will showcase the talents of both the men and women's teams. Uh, there will be a big dunk contest and three-point contests, scrimmages, autographs, free t-shirts, and more at this event. Fans will also get to see showcases of talent from Ariana Gray, Najee Marshall, and Tyreek Jones, their first look at the new transfers and the star-studded freshman class. Be sure to get to the Cintas Center where the event begins at 5.30 tonight and be the first in line for free merchandise and the autographs as the only the first 500 students and 1,500 1, fans get the, free, the new X t-shirt for free. Then at 7 p.m., the Musketeer Madness truly begins as the team intros and competitions will begin. Let's pack the stands for an incredible night of basketball Musketeer fans. And finally, for the Robins Watch, we have a quartet of awards and nominations to highlight. For the Xavier men's basketball, both junior small forward Najee Marshall and senior power forward Tyreek Jones were placed on the watch list for the Julius Irvin and Carl Malone awards respectively, awarded to the best player at their positions in all of the NCAA at the end of the season. While they face stiff competition for in those award races, just being nominated in the watch list is a huge acknowledgement of their talents. And while the basketball team collected some preseason accolades, both goalkeepers for the Xavier soccer teams got the Big East honor roll this week. Senior goalkeepers Tony Bizarro and Matthew Rosenberg of the, men's, of the women's and men's teams respectively were both awarded with the honor roll this week for their incredible performances protecting our team's leads. With these two holding down the fort on the back end for both of our soccer teams, Xavier Soccer will continue to have a leg up on the competition. And that will do it for another episode of the Xavier Sports Report. I'm Lucas Robbins, and as always, let's go X.